so new and trending right now. Um, <laughs> we have this man that uh, likes um, seeing young women, uh, not even young women, children uh, being fucked by horses. And, uh, you know, let's just take a look. You can see this is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. Oh! What? In this video, he accidentally pulls up just some uh, pictures uh, or drawings of uh, children getting fucked by horses. People are justifying it. It's crazy, right? People are justifying um, someone getting fucked by a horse because it's a drawing. It's okay. It's a drawing. Ethan literally said the thing you do is admit you have sexual deviant problems and go to a therapist. You mean with regards to the horse thing? Well, what would I tell a therapist? They'd be like, okay. I, I, I don't understand. What? What is that? I don't even know what that suggests. So this is kind of kind of interesting uh, here. He's talking about he's negating the idea of uh, going to a therapist because he believes that uh, the idea of him being a horse and f***ing a child is like a like a normal and uh, okay thing to do in your head. Maybe not normal, but maybe he thinks it's okay because it's like somehow he's going to more justify it. So he says this. Principles are rock solid. I'm, I'm my feet are firmly planted in the ground. I've got my boots. His morals are solid, they're rock solid, absolutely solid, because, you know, nothing's more justifiable than the idea of uh, f***ing a child with, as a horse, um, even though that makes no sense. Um, a threesome with two uh, chicks and a guy, and in retrospect, looking at it, knowing now that that artist is a lolicon, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> I it. See, I get it, I know that these people exist, I mean, my channel is evidence of that, if you see my uh, biggest video, click on it. <laughs> But yeah, this just demonstrates these people out there and they, they are like trying to morally justify it in the head. Or maybe they're not, that he's just doing it publicly. He's just being like, yo guys, I didn't know, I thought it was on the line, but I guess it was over the line. My bad. When in actuality in the head they know, yeah, I, I wish I was a horse with a massive dick so I could f*** a child. <sighs> Crazy that these people are also the most popular people on the uh, on platforms and uh, you know just tarnishes any idea they ever put forward But I mean if you're watching Vosh for like your political view, I mean you need to reassess Kind of thing? Like I don't really like these guys, this this woman looks like a horse, you know, she's in a natural habitat right now But like, um, oh yeah, I used to like them, but I don't know, these guys are kind of a f***ing cringe When someone mentions the Vosh drama Oh God, then that's me right now. Cause I can't get out, I can't get it out of my subscriptions. You know, this guy should just be forgotten about and uh, nothing he says is from that, this point on is going to be uh, worth listening to because you just know Ahari's a fucking pedophile and uh, loves beast like as well. You know, another layer to it if it can get any worse than being a pedophile. You also like the idea of a horse fucking person. You know, you're just so deep in degeneracy that you don't realize that like things that you uh, things that you indulge in are actually really weird and uh, immoral and like f***ed up. It's like if you was into incest and like failure and horse, horse shit and like eating shit and like farts and stuff. So much so to the point where he would just mention it in casual conversation and be like, yeah, yeah, the other night I was watching like incest porn. Not realizing that, you know, everyone else was hearing it and looking at you like a f***ing absolute disgusting piece of shit.